Hello, my name is Brittany Ann Brooke, and welcome to Brittany Ann's Thoughts, Episode 9. Alright, it's been a while. Today is, uh, whoa. Today is October 17th, 2014, and, uh, well, I live a pretty busy life. I have a very hectic schedule and a very full calendar. So, you know, I got band, choir, show choir, got the musical, and I got school, and I got work. Work at McDonald's, by the way. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a struggle. Um, you know, I'm, I'm moving up in the world. I am moving up in the world. Uh, let's see, uh, just, you know. I got a lot of stuff to do. I am, I am grown. I am, I am 17 and I'm grown. And, uh, just, it's, it's unbelievable growing up and being a, being a boy and being a man stuck in between two worlds in this young adult life of mine. It's like a midlife crisis. Anyways, on that note, uh, I have an ACT coming up next, uh, next Saturday. All right, go me, doing test. Uh, oh, okay, um, I downloaded a music software program to help write songs and whatnot uh it is called magic score maestro seven something like that and uh well see i was gonna pay like 60 dollars for it and i'm like oh wait you know 30 day free trial 60 dollars free 30 days so i'm all like you know what i'm gonna get it so i got it and then um uh, I mean, it's, it's an alright program, not, not too shabby, not too shabby, uh, so, for me to learn, learn how the program, you know, works, I, uh, you know, it says, yo, label the score or whatever, the song. And I just put practice, you know, to practice the, the software. And uh, I'm all like, well. So I labeled it practice and it had some nice little piano. And I was learning how to, how to use the program. And I'm, I'm like, wow, this is actually a pretty good song I got going. I was just, you know, goofing around, not being serious. But it turned out to be pretty good. But uh, lots of times the software likes to freeze up and it just crashes and then you got to restart the computer and it tends to delete a lot of uh, a lot of the unsaved stuff. So and it happens all the time. So I only got like 
I made like four or five measures of this song, and for me that's a lot, and uh, then it, it, it erases like two. And it's just like, oh, well, this, this was a pretty song, and then I'm just not motivated to continue writing it. And so I started a new one. This one I'm actually taking pretty seriously. Uh, it's about, um, uh, well, it, it has a four-part baritone slash euphonium part, you know, the instrument that I play in band. And uh, so that's, you know, it has three treble clef and one bass clef, so I guess a trombone could play along with it. Um, and that's turned out pretty good, but, you know, it froze up and software crashed and, uh, uh, you know, it, it erased a little bit, but, you know, I'm still, I got, like, a good five, six measures on, on that, and, you know, it's hard because I'm making, so, I'm making, making it four parts, and it's just, it takes me, it takes me a good hour just to, just to get like two measures in. That's pretty pathetic. Okay, so next subject. Um. Okay, so when I first started working at McDonald's, within like the first couple weeks, I worked there. Anyways, when you work grill, you slide all the grease off the grill, and you slide into like these big like metal aluminum. Uh, they're called grease traps and you know you can pull out the grease traps and you know anyways so this is within the first couple weeks that I you know I worked there back in July and um, freaking so you got pull those out carry you know carry it like that then you walk over to this weird like little small um, machine thing that you just pour it in there and it like filters and sends the grease down these pipes and tubes and whatnot um and then then you gotta walk back to the grill and put the, well you're supposed to spray those the uh, grease traps off but i don't always spray the grease traps off because you know but any anyways anyways uh i uh you know so you gotta Dump the grease into the grease trap machine. Then you gotta, then you gotta take the grease trap, put it back in the grill. Then you gotta clean the grease trap machine in this little like floor um floor sink. It's like aluminum and it's you know three to five inches off the ground, and it's just a little drainage pipe in the hole and in the floor with like hoses and stuff that spray stuff off. Anyway, so, I was, I was getting towards the end of my shift, and that means I had to clean the grease traps and stock all the frozen meat and whatnot. And, um, whew. anyways, uh, so I was getting a little late to clock off, and my mom was already waiting to pick me up. Anyway, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to go and get out, get out of there. So I, uh, uh, eventually this kid shows up and I don't really like this kid, but this other kid, let's just, you know, protect his name and identity. Let's call him military robot because that's what he is. Short little uh, military robot. Anyways, I pulled the grease trap out and I spill a little bit of grease on the floor. And him and this other kid are flipping out, oh, yeah, you know, making a big scene out of it. And I'm like, oh, I'll just go get a mop and mop it up and get out of here. Oh, no, no, you got to go and get a salt box and dump salt onto it. And then you got to wait about five minutes for it to soak up. Then, then you got to sweep it up, then you got to mop it up. You know, taking all these processes and steps instead of just taking a mop and getting take, you know, taken care of in two minutes. So they're making a big scene about it because, oh, I spilled grease. Now the kid, military robot, he freaking, he acts like I'm the first person in all of McDonald's history that ever spilled grease on the freaking floor. And so he's making a big scene. 
Oh, uh, you do realize, um, the grease is not supposed to go on the floor. It's supposed to go into the grease trap machine. And another thing. I didn't want to... I didn't want to pour the grease into a grease trap, the grease trap machine, because I was already running late, and that means I would have to clean the grease trap machine. Now I didn't want to do that. The other alternative is you get a cardboard box, you get uh, a um a trash bag, put it over the cardboard box, and then you get some ice and you put it at the bottom at the cardboard box. And uh, then you could just pour it into the cardboard box with the trash bag and ice in it, and then throw it into the dumpster. I was going to do that, but he didn't like that at all, so I did it his way, poured it into the freaking grease trap machine, cleaned up that, and then I still had the stock. Anyways, man, he made a big deal about it. And th this guy, you know, everything's perfect, everything has to be right. He's speedy, quick, and freaking always moving, and, and freaking, he, his way is the right way. Unbelievable. Anyways, throughout, throughout, you know, from July to now, every once in a while, he'll still bring it up. Ha ha ha, did you know, uh, Brannigan spilled grease? And, um, uh, hey, Brannigan. Are you planning on spilling any grease traps today? Uh, so what? Why? Why exactly did you spill the grease? Freaking! Uh! Anyways, so this kid, I used to label him as nice, but freaking annoying, cause all he talks about joining the freaking um, army or whatever, marines, whatever he's joining. That's all he talks about for five hours, five hour shifts. All he talks about joining. Hey, why don't you come to the recruiter and and you know sign up with me and then then so he could rank up or whatever for for me putting his name down. No, and and you know because I said I was interested in joining the Coast Guard, I, I regret telling him that because that's all he talks about. Freaking, oh yeah, no Coast Guard, no don't do that. You 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 gotta you know be be tough and do uh, National Guard or something. Like, shut up. Anyways, so a couple of days ago, I see him in the in the um in the cafeteria in the commons in the morning before school starts, and I'm like, oh, there's there's military robot, and I'm like, okay, well I guess I'll go talk to him because you know he had his laptop out and I wanted to go check out his laptop. I walk over there and what's up military robot, and I'm like, yo, is that Windows 8? And he's like. Uh, I don't know. I got this, uh, about, about a month ago. And I'm like, I'm saying I think, oh man, this guy, this guy doesn't know anything about computers. I'm like, oh, pfft. I can already tell. He doesn't even know what freaking so software or anything. Like, come on. So, you know, I'm talking about his laptop and he's not even listening. And eventually, I don't know, I ask him a question. Uh, and then he goes this, he says this, you, you ready, wait for it, he's like, uh, why do you spill grease traps, I'm like, it's freaking October, that happened back in July, you're still going off about this, something that happened in July, are you serious, I was freaking, I only worked there for a couple weeks or so, and I'm like, are you serious, he's like, well, see, you wanted to hurry up and get off your shift, and so you were being all whiny, and and so you, you were being whiny, and you wanted to dump the grease into a cardboard box so you could hurry up and get off your shift. And by you being lazy, it caused you to spill the grease, and then you went uh, like, he called me freaking lazy. Are you serious, uh, kid? I'm sorry, but you only work weekends. I work Mondays, Wednesdays. Uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, yeah, sometimes I take off for a band, show choir, whatnot, but I'm there more than what you are. You know, it works two days out of the week, and if not three. And so, I'm like, he calls me lazy. And I'm like, there's other people that spill the grease off the freaking, the grill. And I'm like, are, 
are you see he's like who and i'm like everybody everybody spilt freaking grease from time to time and he's like no uh and I'm like he's like yeah well you you spilt like the whole grease trap i'm like no like it, it was a little puddle unbelievable so oh that made me so freaking angry <laughs> like how dare you say that I'm I'm whiny and, and freaking lazy. So I'm like right, so I'm I was dumb with that kid. That kid went from nice and annoying to just a plain out mean person. Like for real. Like unbelievable. And then a couple of days after that day, I uh I go into work, and I was talking to my good friend, and uh, he's like, you know what, you, you know what military robot said to me the other day, because I spilt some grease, he's like, he's like, hey, uh, what are you, or, hey, who, who are you, Brannigan, for, for spilling grease, and then my friend, you know, told him how I felt eventually that I had to work with military robot later that day and uh, so you know what military robot did uh, it, I, I know it's pretty shocking because he's pretty perfect he's perfect of a guy who never makes mistakes but y you know what he did he had to take frozen fries and put them into the into the hopper into the fry hopper and you know what he did he spilt the frozen fries all over the floor. So I walk up to him. Hey, uh, military robot, uh, uh, the fries are supposed to go into the hopper, not the floor. And he just drops his broom. God. <clears throat> da -da -da. Unbelievable. So now I got two people that I don't really like all that much at work. Whew, okay, got that out of the way. Um, oh, let's talk about my copyright notice I have on Birdigan's Reviews, Episode 2, Van Helsing. Um, I don't know if the public is in the known, but two days ago, or, it, yeah, it was Wednesday. I uploaded a burning, a new episode of Burning Reviews of Van Helsing. Now, this this is kind of understandable where the copyright comes in, but uh, so I have the DVD and I uh, I recorded quite a few clips, like 13 minutes of clips. Uh, actually, more about 10 minutes of clips, but they're only like you know, well, some are like. 30 seconds long, some are like 2 minutes long, some are like 5 minutes long. But anyways, so I got a copyright notice, but I could still watch it, but none of my friends that I shared to to it, you know, shared it on Facebook, none of them can watch it, none of the people on Twitter can watch it, so, uh, uh, anyways, so I'm all like, Yo, um, so, oh, so Van Helsing says another character's name, so I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, you can't use, uh, other characters' names from other properties. So I edit that part out, and then upload a new one, still copyright notice at 7 minutes and, like, 33 seconds. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna keep it up on there because, you know, I don't wanna... But, anyways, I got into my brother's Facebook because his face, uh, his password saved into my computer, and I could watch it on his Facebook, but I don't know. It's a little confusing, so. I'm sorry, Universal. I, 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 I am very sorry, but I didn't think I, cop I would get a copyright notice from a film from a not very well-known film from 2004, so. I am very sorry about that. Um, I am currently, uh, reading a book that I am planning on doing a Brennan's review on it, um, called Walk Across America, 
takes place in like 1973 to 1975. And this guy, he just walks from like, uh, I think Pennsylvania or no, it was like Connecticut or something, all the way down to Louisiana. And you know, finds the heart of America. So the features looking bright, like, you know, the sun just came out and you know, woo. So, uh, I'm Bernie and Brooke, and uh, watch the Bradigan become the Bradigan. <laughs>